Fool! You have achieved nothing! I am immortal, yet I will never surrender! <sighs> Elidipus, so fixated were you on my memories of the future, you failed to heed the lessons of the past. Your obsession blinded you to the true nature of this tower, this beacon of hope for mankind. Created to serve as a reservoir for the limitless energy of the heavens. To harness and bind the boundless. Not unlike white orosite. Your ill-begotten power. Obtained by exploiting that which is best in us. I shall have it. Your soul and all! This... Yes... I would become him. I would save everyone. This... I believed. Yet still they cried out in rage and despair. Divided over the fate of the star. A rare occurrence, always fleeting, but not this time, not this time. Reconciliation, Elizabeth. I was needed. I withdrew myself from Zodiac for them. My people, my brothers, my friends. Stay strong. Keep the faith. At duty's end, we will meet again. We will. We will. The rains have ceased, and we have been graced with another beautiful day. But you are not here to see it.
I concede I may have overexerted myself. Steady now, and listen. I told you before that I had a plan, and that when all is said and done, I would ask a favor of you. We have averted the eighth umbral calamity, found a way for everyone to return to the source, and last but not least, we have secured the future of all the people of Norvrand. We have won, my friend. So, I hope you'll forgive me this moment of selfishness, and while I wouldn't want you to feel obliged, Promise me you'll take me on your next adventure. A journey. Together. That's all I ask. This isn't the end. That we will meet again. Would you believe me? My friend, with you, my mind and memory shall travel to the ends of the world and beyond. But in this place shall my body stand immovable. May it serve as an undying promise, not only to those who look to me for leadership, but to any soul who has known despair, that hope is everlasting. The Exarch would remain, keeping his silent vigil. When the Scions were not released from his summoning spell, we proceeded with the plan to return them to the Source. The Warrior of Darkness, however, 
retained her ability to traverse the two worlds at will. And in time, the Crystal Tower became a symbol of her link to the first, and of hope.